let me first identify the repeating pattern. So first 12 dots, and I'm going to include the line that then joins to the 13th dot. It's going to be this here. So if I do 12s into 2007, I can work out how many complete patterns I have. If I get a remainder of zero, so it goes into it entirely, then I'll have a complete number of patterns. And the 2007th would actually be this final dot. Um, if I get a remainder of two, then it would be this dot, for example. So 12s into 2007, or 12s into 20, go once, remainder eight, then 12 times six is 72, so six, remainder eight, and then 12 times 7 is 84, so we get 167 remainder 3. What this means is I have 167 complete patterns, and the remainder 3 means that I am here as my first part of the pattern. That's going to be 2007. So then I've got 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011 gets me to here. I just need to identify which one that is. It's going to be, there it is, it's going to be E. An alternative way to do this question, this is how the solutions do it, they identify that 2004 is divisible by 3 because the digit sum is 6, and the last two digits are divisible by 4, so it's also the whole number is divisible by 4, therefore it's divisible by 12. So immediately we see that 2004 is like the last um, part of the pattern. So it would refer to this. And then they can just count along 2005, 2006 and 2007. So it arguably saves a little bit of time. We're going to get the same answer out of it, of course. I quite like just doing a division, but yeah, it's just worth talking about this one as well.